Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a Bath and Body Works fall candle haul only because they had a sale and they had a sale so good that I couldn't pass it up. Like could never pass this up. It'd be crazy too. Now with that do I said they had buy one get one free which is the same as $12 each if you calculate it or two for 22 and then also they had a few coupons floating around. If you spend 30, you get $10 off. If you spend 50, you get 20 off. And then of course they have like 20% off ones. Um, I luckily got the $50, spend 50, get 20 off. So it made my total like $30, which is awesome. Because if you did spend 30, you would only be getting two candles and a filler for 30 and then you would be spending $20. So for 10 more dollars, you can get two more candles and a filler, if that makes sense. Like 20 extra dollars off, like that's a big difference from 10, to me at least. So I did that and um, it brought the total down to, if you can see like the top one it's six dollars and 88 cents like per candle and you can see they were originally 22.50 and then with the sale it brought it to like 11.25 the buy one get one free or something and then my coupon code so yes i'm not lying i would i should have gotten more but i didn't i didn't really need any more but i can use these as gifts or i can um burn them myself Pretty much I will be burning them myself. I'm just a hoarder. I like to collect them. So let's just jump on in and quit this talk and holly. But anyways, um, we have a white barn now, which they redid our bath and body works. I told you about. I love the bags that they come in. They're so classy. They're big. They're durable. I love that. But not of all, they gave me some matches to go um, with my candles, which is so super cool. Super cool. And um, they gave me a crate to put them in, which my Bath and Body Works always just rolled them up in the paper and put them in the bag. And then they also gave me um, some tips on how to take care of your candle, which I thought was pretty cool. I never got that before either. It doesn't say too much. It just says don't touch while it's hot. Keep an eye on your candles at all the time. I think we all know that. How to keep your candles clean. You need to trim them every fourth inch. You need to trim them to one fourth of an inch. And keep candles out of reach of children. Or to be accidentally knocked over. So I think we all kind of know all that. And then I got some good old Bath and Body Works coupons. If you've not been, these are the ones that you get. You get a free item with a $10 purchase. You get $10 off 30 and saving 20% off. I don't really think these are that good of a coupon. I know people really like to see. Um, I smelled the magic in the air. I don't really like it. It's really soft scent. Um, if you... I've, the fresh, fresh sparkling snow they had last year... Um, but I smell the magic in the air and the frosted snow blossom I'm looking on here. Which were out when I picked up these candles. Or this. Um, and I just don't. It's just really light to me. Like if I want a body spray, I want to be able to smell my body spray. I don't want to just smell a little hint of something. Some people don't like strong. If you don't like strong, you might like that. I do not remember the notes in it. But let's jump into these candles. I'm so sorry for the blah, 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 blah. The first one I got. Look how pretty this is this year. It's spiced apple toddy. Like, look at that candle. And it's just sparkly, if you can kind of see. But look at this pretty lid of all. That lid is pretty. It's going to blind you. The notes read... Warm apple brandy, spice plum, cranberry, and cinnamon stick. And oh my god, this brings you to just like winter and fall mix. Like that, that in-between day, like a snow day. 
it's like a snowy day and you're stuck inside. I like to burn these types of candles because they're so strong and they're cozy. But I pick right off the scent note on the cold throw, I pick up apple and like a spice. It's not like heavy on the cinnamon, but it is at the same, like, I'm trying to rub it so I can kind of smell it. Like, it's a little heavy on the spice, yes, but it's not, I guess, I don't get the cranberry and the plum, but all that mixed together, just, mmm, it's just my favorite candle, guys. So, I did get this one, which I'll leave behind here so you guys can kind of see. And then this next one I got is Cider Lane. And look at this lid. Look how pretty. It's gold. It's like 3D. I'm trying to, and it's a leaf, of course. Oh, I like this too. Um, this one is Warm Caramel Granny Smith Apple Dark Brown Sugar and Ground Clove. To me, this is really light, so I'm kind of still unsure about this one. Um, it smells good, don't get me wrong. I pick up more of the caramel and the apple and the brown sugar. Now, I don't, the ground clove, I don't really get a spice. If it is in there, it's like maybe the bottom note because I don't pick it up doesn't take over the candle if that makes sense if you don't like like cinnamon scents this is not one that is going to bother you with it so it's really pretty you get all those trees and basically looking at that it kind of re resembles this candle so we got two and this one's a new scent to me but I, I just have to show you this lid Look how freaking gorgeous this is. It's rose gold. Not only is it like textured 3D-ish looking, like I love the coral lids. But this one is pumpkin French toast. Look, look how cute. It has the little squirrel and the bird or whatever. This one's to die for. This was going to be so strong, I bet. Because I have this in the wallflower, and I'm telling you, this is the strongest candle ever. I walk by it and think I'm melting something. And I went back and bought some backups of this, because this is the best wallflower I've ever had from Bath & Body Works. But, if you have had no luck with wallflowers, I'm just saying, um, get their bakery ones. Like the cinnamon caramel swirls, the pumpkin french toast. Um, the pumpkin cupcake was okay, but like spice apple toddy is really good. Um, stuff like that, they're really strong. They do well. But this has warm maple syrup, pumpkin spice, and caramelized brown sugar. Like, oh, it's like I could eat it. And look how pretty. It's a pretty brown color. And it's just, kind of looks just, I would figure it'd have like cinnamon, a French to cinnamon toast, French toast on the front, but it has cute little, cute little, cute little. So yeah. Woo. So we got those three, and then we have my all time. You want to guess what it is? I'll tell you a secret. Marshmallow Fireside. How could you guess? It's one of my favorites, and I needed. I've got all kinds of apple. If you've not seen, I've been in the apple caramely. Well, I've been in the apple mood lately. I don't know. I needed a different. Oh, even smelling this at home makes it smell even better. I love this gray color. I'm not even playing. I love gray wax. It's hard to tell on camera, but it is gray. And I love this year's cute little cup. And it says, toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla with crystallized amber. And to me, like, you get the marshmallow or like a vanilla type scent. But you also get that burnt, like, woodsy fire scent. It's like masculine but sweet. 
and sweet at the same time. This is so good. I think this one's like everyone's favorite. They, if you've noticed, they've changed the Bath and Body Works up here, and it's kind of like girly. I don't really like that. They have it on. Well, yeah, they're starting to change those. I don't know if I like that. I just notice details about like stuff like that but I do like the top I do like the gray wax and I love marshmallow fireside you can never go wrong with this candle at all I think everybody likes them this is how I stack my candles when I'm storing them anywho like this so I'm gonna add it to my row but my filler candle or my filler candle bleh, my filler to spend 50 like two for 22 so I brought it to 45 for four of these and I need to get to 50 I got a spiced apple toddy wallflower and I just grabbed this because I knew it would do well and I love the scent so I'm going to burn the spiced apple toddy on a winter cold like winter day maybe even tis the season i need to get when it comes out i burn that one on christmas eve christmas day and like the few days after or a few days before and a few days after like it and um if i'm not finished with it by then i put it up for the next year but i ended up, ended up finishing mine and i didn't have a spare but that tis the season is i don't want to stock up on it because it's to me it's like such a christmas scent that I couldn't burn it all year round. I like to get all year round candles and I can do marshmallow fireside, cider lane, um, the pumpkin French toast I could do. And then the spice apple toddy I could maybe do. It's a little heavy on the cinnamon for an all year round, but if I had to, I would. But I'm going to show you another candle that I got, um, that it's not Bath and Body Works. And I'm pulling up the scent notes so I can read it to you. I already have one. It's the Candle Berry um, Hot Maple Toddy. And this is the best candle in, in the world. I still have my other one from last year. But I knew with this fall season coming up that I wanted to start burning a lot more candles. And I ha I've been melting a lot more. And I want to start burning a lot more candles. And they have a sale. But these are $24. And they are totally worth it. If you've not tried Candleberry, you need to. It knocks, like, it really knocks Bath & Body Works candles out of the water, depending on which ones you get. Um, I'm not going to say, these are almost like side by side. I'm not even kidding you. Their melts are, like, I have to chop them into, like, itty bitty 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 pieces because they're, like, so strong. They have, like, a big cake and it comes with, like, six melts, but in those six melts, I mean, I chop like three or four melts per slice. <sighs> it smells so good. A little bit. Let me read you the scent description. And let me know if you've tried Candleberry. It says, Maple Honey Graham used to cure all alignments with her special cup of warm spirits. Dashed with lemon juice, the best part is a spoonful of maple honey. Does this candle cure your senses? Get ready for the best candle ever. But to me, like, you get maple, you get like cinnamon, maple, honey. You pick up that graham cracker. It's just, it's a oh, combination. It's so good. It's so good. It's one of my favorite candles, and they hardly ever go on sale. And when they do, I try to get one. Um, I don't even remember the sale. I just clicked and bought it really quick or how much I end up paying for it. But, um, there's a little boutique store that sells them, but they're always out of them. So I actually had this one mailed to me and that wraps everything up. I'll sit it by there, even though it's not a Bath and Body Works candle, but thank you all so much for watching. If you're new, thank you for being here and please subscribe for more videos like this and everybody have a good day and bye